Hey guys, what is going on? So I can't believe I am even making this video. Never have I thought um, I would ever be making this video ever since the even the original iPad came out back in 2010. So seven years later, we have uh, a device, you know, that is, you know, this thin, pretty much with a case on, that is benchmarking quicker than a fully loaded 13 inch MacBook Pro with touch bar um, on some on some benchmarks literally every single benchmark that includes a GPU this thing is getting a higher frame rate in almost everything as compared to a fully maxed out 13 inch MacBook Pro I didn't believe it so I literally went online and um, I, 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 you know, did like 15 minutes of research, and it's 100% true. Literally 100% true. People are saying this thing, what Apple has created, is literally too good for its own value. Literally, this thing is too is so good that there's nothing you can do to even put it to the test. Like, I'll show you guys. I'm, I'm even gonna do something stupid today. I'm going to. Uh, open up iMovie on my iPad and I'll open up iMovie on my 15 inch uh, base model I think I think it's the base model I'll, I'll double check that base model uh, MacBook Pro with touch bar and since this since the iPad like I said doesn't have I'm uh, Final Cut Pro I'm just gonna go ahead and use iMovie because iMovie is on both of them so I'll go ahead and just find any random 4k video on the internet I'll download it and I will go to iMovie. I will probably do a few transitions, a few backwards, a few forwards, you know, whatever. I'll do the same exact transitions on both and I will compare the export times and I will let you guys know. Uh, but first, out of curiosity, I don't even know what my, uh, what my uh, geek bench is. I know I did it long ago in a video, but I totally forgot. So I'm gonna go ahead and redo a benchmark or a geek bench, geek bench four on the MacBook and I will do a Geekbench 4 on the iPad and I'll also show you guys that results. Uh, the results are in, there's not that big of a gap honestly. If you compare this, I spent a total of $800, okay? This, $2,500. That's a big gap, okay? So I expect a big gap in Geekbench, but no, there really is not and that's just insane but anyway here's the results so um this is the ipad it has a single core of 3887 and a multi-core of 9160 it is running ios 11 a system on a chip at 2.3 gigahertz and 4 gigs of, of ram which again this technically should be a lot slower than the 15 inch macbook pro with touch bar but here are the results for that as you can see it's really not that different. I mean, the multi-core score, okay, sure, because this thing has eight uh, eight cores of hyper-threading, and it's it's an actual, you know, real i7 quad core. So obviously, that's going to be a little bit better. But the single core went from 3887 to only 4206. Again, this is twenty five hundred dollars as compared to, well. Well, 800, but you can get the same thing for 650. Uh, so now I'm going, to, I'm going to specifically do a GPU test uh, using the same Geekbench 4, but now I'm going to be using, instead of CPU, I'm going to be using Compute. So I'm going to run a benchmark on Compute on this, and I am going to run a benchmark on Compute using this. And I'm going to be using the uh, the Radeon Pro 450 of what it comes with. Again, this is a 2016 model, so this comes with the two gigs of 450. I'm going to be using Metal because this is also using Metal, the iPad. So I'm not going to be using OpenCL on this. I'm going to be using Metal to make it fair. Okay, I actually can because I have to purchase Geekbench 4 for some reason. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'll go on Google and look up the uh, Metal for uh, this MacBook, and it'll be the same thing, probably. Okay, um, God, this video is so unprofessional. I'm so sorry. The uh, 15-inch MacBook Pro, late 2016, has a metal score 
of 30,040. This thing has a metal score of 29,614. 30,040, 29,614. 800, 2,500. Oh, yeah, I really forgot to mention. This is running the Radeon Pro 455. I have on this machine a 450. So what that means is that if I actually found a Geekbench score of metal using the Radeon Pro 450 instead of 455, that literally means that this thing has a higher score using metal um, than a dedicated graphics card on a $2,500 machine. Again, this is insane. Okay, so now I'm gonna stop recording. I'm going to find a uh, 4K video on uh, on the inner highway, and I will uh, put it on iMovie on this, put it on iMovie on the iPad, and I will do a few edits that are the same exact edits on both machines, and I will just see how long it takes to export just for the hell of it. I probably know that the 15 inch will win simply because of turbo boost. And overall, you know, it's an actual quad core i7 with eight cores of hyper threading. But then again, the iPad has 12 cores of GPU. So God, if I know. Okay, so I pretty much have the same exact thing loaded onto both. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to play the full off. Uh, 10 second clip of the first 4k film with the title this is a test and then for the second one i'm going to put a vintage filter on it flip the video and also put this is a test and then for the third clip i'm going to uh do a slow motion of it i think 29.3 seconds let me make sure yep 29 let me see if i can zoom in and show you guys that 29.3 seconds and then uh, obviously the same thing on here. This is a test and then vintage filter upside down. This is a test and then uh, let me see, I don't know, yep, 29.3 seconds up top. Let me show you guys right there. So it is literally the same exact thing on both computers. And uh, let me go ahead and move to a table and then I'll go ahead and start exporting. I did iMovie for the, I mean, that doesn't even matter. I did uh, audio and video clearly. I did 4K resolution out of 4K. Uh, for the quality, I'm gonna keep it at standard uh, high, even though I can go to best, but the iPad doesn't give me this much uh, room to play with. So I'm pretty sure the iPad is also set to high. And the compression, I'm going to do faster again because on the iPad, these are all the things, these are all the options I, I have. <laughs> That's it. So I'm going to keep it fair and keep this um, standard and uh, obviously the same with the iPad. So I'll go ahead and zoom out and then I'm going to click next and I'm going to press on the 4K option at the same time. Oh God, oops, can't do that. Nope, cancel. Uh, whatever, yes, my movie documents. Okay, let's, let's, let's redo that. <laughs> Save video. Okay, one, two, three. It's still exporting that. I don't think it even started yet. Meanwhile, the uh, iPad is almost finished. That's the bar right there. About a one minute left, it says. The iPad also getting there. This is almost done. Six seconds left. Four, three, two, one. It finished, and the iPad is pretty much kicking up, to be honest. It's just pretty much almost neck and neck. So again, guys, you saw it. Um, it really wasn't that big of a difference. Um, again, 2400 or 2500 uh, compared to 800. That's a really big difference. So uh, take that for what you will. Again, this is a 15 inch. If you have a 13 inch, especially a base model 13 inch, um, and you ran the same test, the iPad Pro will completely obliterate it, I think. I mean, not, not I think, I mean, I, I definitely know. 
and uh, well, after this video I will, and you guys will see benchmarks of a fully maxed out 13 inch uh, MacBook Pro with touch bar uh, compared to a iPad Pro. And uh, you guys will see for yourself. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It probably is a little long, but I really wanted to go into depth and really show you guys the full power of the iPad. It's completely insane. So hope you guys enjoyed.